All righty, it's been a long time coming. I know with COVID last year, we didn't have a chance to talk to AJ a whole lot here and do live shots out in the uh, in the Fox 8 front yard or backyard with the uh, uh, with the garden. But now is the time of year as we're kind of you know loosening up restrictions and hopefully you and I can kind of meet in person maybe later on in the summer. But we got to get there first, AJ, and that means we got to get our gardens ready. And now's the time to do it. Real excited about this. At, no, we had a great garden last year, Scott, but it wasn't the same without you down here. Yeah. Um, so we're getting the garden ready this year, and you know, due to the actually it was a fortunate thing due to the time capsule, the time capsule was actually in the garden, well below the garden. So that got dug up a few weeks ago. So it gave us an opportunity to just kind of breathe some new life into the garden. And one of the main things, one of my biggest frustrations, is any true gardener knows, is groundhogs or gophers or chipmunks or anything else that really just messes with your crop. So we went through and we sturdied up the outdoor fencing. So, and this is something that you definitely, if you've got issues with critters at home, this is something you definitely want to take a look at doing. And we just have some just basic two by fours, real simple to do. And then just some chicken wire and some, you know, a little bit thicker plastic fencing out here. This will go around, we've got a, a door on the other side, but this will really secure the garden very well. And so we should be able to really enjoy I guess the fruits of our labor as we're going through. Now, as you're looking at amending the garden, we've done so many segments in the past where we've amended half the garden and then we did not amend the other half and the difference is staggering. So if you're really gonna put a garden in, this is the most crucial step um, really throughout the entire process. If, if you're not gonna amend the soil, it's almost not worth going into um, doing the vegetable garden you just won't have the success. So this is really the first thing. And it's something that you can only do up front. You can't go back and kind of redo the, the soil amendment part. So it's really important to do it. So just kind of take the soil that you have. Um, if you've got a raised garden or if it's an in-ground garden, um, just kind of assess the soil, clean up any weeds, clean up any debris uh, that you've got anything. If you've got stuff carried over from last year, just rake it up. Just start with a nice clean surface. And at bare minimum, this is the basic building box. So you want to make sure that you've got some peat moss. So a bale of peat moss um, per about three or four bags of composted cow manure and just layer those down over the garden. So, and this will do about 10 square feet, give or take. You know, this, uh, the, the peat moss and the cow manure will do about 10, maybe 12 square feet, depending on if you're doing it year over year, your soil's really rich. Um, so you want to make sure you get that layer down. Next, you want to layer down some garden tone um, great to have some organics, a nice fertilizer in the soil. It'll, when you go to plant your plants, it'll give it a nice boost. And then lime. Lime's really important. It'll help uh, bring the pH of the soil up a little bit. You want it to be in the, uh, in the seven zone. And so that'll help all the fertilizers and everything else release. And if you haven't done it yet, it's really worth investing in soil perfector. You put it down once, it stays in the garden forever. It makes such a big difference in terms of that soil never really gets a chance to go down and compact. So once you have that all spread out, and we were doing it during the teas, you want to go through and you want to turn over the garden. So you want to make sure that you get the earth. You don't want to just rototill right on top with the new stuff because all you're going to do is just mix that up. You really want to mix the new stuff in with the earth or you know the, the garden soil that you had in the garden. And that'll give you really that nice base. Get it nice and smooth. Once you get it nice and smooth, Get some do it, get some weed barrier on top of it, get it pinned down, and that'll give you a nice, great, clean surface to garden with. And having the weed barrier down makes a huge, huge difference as you're going through the season. Big time. AJ, so, real quick real quick question. What about testing your soil for pH? Because if you put too much cow manure, manure in, you know, it can make the soil kind of go from, you know, acidic to a base. Do you recommend doing that if you've maybe had problems in the past? You know, if you're using composted cow manure, you really won't have um, that big of an issue mm -hmm. with pH, but there are soil test kits you can get. And so that makes that, it takes that issue out. If you're worried about pathogens, where you've had plants wilting on you, you can send your soil out to the, the Ohio State Extension Service. That'll make it easy, and they'll tell you if you've got pathogens in your soil. Mm -hmm. But in terms of just normal stuff, as long as you're not using fresh manure, which you do right. not want to use. Right, right. Whatever you have, you want to make sure that it's well composted. You really shouldn't have any issues. And then just adding that bit of lime on top, mm -hmm. that'll take care of any pH issues that you've got. Good deal. AJ, always a pleasure. Looking forward to planting, what, in a couple weeks, right? A couple weeks, yeah, almost there.
Good deal. All right. Yeah, dig this, dig this segment. You can check it out online, fox8.com. We'll be talking about that and uh, talking about flowers. And, and we've already talked about, uh, you know, getting your grass ready. And, and we'll be talking with AJ, you know, pretty much every week or so throughout the summer. I think this is year seven with the garden, maybe year eight. I can't remember. Maybe year seven, something like that. Don't forget to rotate your plants, too, but we'll talk about that in the, in the days ahead. Guys, we'll send it back to you. We've All been right. doing it a long time. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Fun.